Imagine a single device with the power to level an entire city, to alter the course of history, and to cast a long ominous shadow over the future of humanity. As we delve into this narrative, we find ourselves at the dawn of a new deadly era, an epic marked by the birth of a weapon unlike any the world had ever seen, a weapon born from the intricate dance of science and power, a dance that would forever change the rhythm of our world. This is the atomic bomb, a creation whose destructive potential is as immense as the ambition that conceived it. A testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge, yet a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of such pursuits when left unchecked. We stand on the brink of this daunting precipice, peering into the abyss of our own making. This is the story of the atomic bomb, a tale of science, power, and devastating consequences. Our story begins in the early 20th century, with a revolutionary breakthrough in the understanding of the universe. In the first few decades of the 20th century, the world of physics was buzzing with excitement. The atom, once thought to be the smallest unit of matter, was discovered to be made up of even tinier particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. This revelation was thrilling, but it was another discovery that would change the course of history, nuclear fission. Nuclear fission, a term coined in the late 30s, is a process where the nucleus of an atom is split into two smaller nuclei, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This phenomenon was first observed by scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann, but it was Lisa Meitner and Otto Frisch who recognized it as a new type of nuclear reaction. This discovery led to a groundbreaking concept, the chain reaction. The idea was that if one atom could release so much energy, imagine what could happen if that energy could trigger the fission of other atoms. A self-sustaining chain reaction could potentially release an astronomical amount of energy. Enter Albert Einstein and Leo Szilard. Einstein, a name synonymous with genius, and Szilard, a brilliant physicist with a knack for envisioning future technologies. They recognized the potential of this chain reaction, but they also saw its dark side. If harnessed improperly, this energy could be used to create a weapon of devastating power. In 1939, Einstein and Szilard penned a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, warning him of the potential for a new kind of bomb, one that could level entire cities. Their words were heeded, and their fears would prove to be well-founded. As the world teetered on the brink of another global conflict, the concept of the atomic bomb was born. The idea was terrifying yet fascinating. The potential to harness the fundamental forces of the universe was within reach. But at what cost? The stage was set for a new weapon of unprecedented power. In the midst of World War II, the United States launched a secret mission with a single terrifying goal. This mission was known as the Manhattan Project, a covert operation that would fundamentally alter the course of human history. The Manhattan Project was conceived in the early 40s, born out of fear and necessity. The United States, acutely aware of the scientific advances in Nazi Germany, felt an urgent need to develop a weapon of unparalleled power. The project was so named because its initial research was conducted in Manhattan, New York, but it quickly expanded to multiple locations across the United States. The project assembled a team of brilliant minds, scientists who were pioneers in their respective fields. Among them was J. Robert Oppenheimer, a theoretical physicist dubbed the father of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer led a team of researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, where the first atomic bombs were designed and assembled. The Manhattan Project was a marvel of scientific and engineering prowess. It required the collaboration of thousands of scientists, engineers, and workers, all of whom were bound by the strictest secrecy. At its peak, the project employed over 130,000 people and consumed $2 billion of wartime funding, an astronomical figure for the time. The culmination of the Manhattan Project was marked by the successful detonation of the first atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, in the New Mexico desert. The explosion, equivalent to 20,000 tons of TNT, signaled the dawn of the atomic age. But with this success, came a profound sense of dread. The scientists who had toiled tirelessly to create this weapon were deeply conflicted about its potential use. Many were haunted by Oppenheimer's words, borrowed from the Bhagavad Gita, as he witnessed the first atomic explosion. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. What was once a theoretical concept had become a harsh reality. The Manhattan Project had brought about the atomic age, a period marked by unprecedented power and a constant fear of nuclear annihilation. The world for better or for worse, would never be the same. On August 6, 1945 the world witnessed the devastating power of the atomic bomb for the first time. 
Just as the sun began to rise over Hiroshima, a city in Japan, a B-29 bomber named the Enola Gay flew overhead. In its belly, it carried a weapon unlike any the world had ever seen, a single bomb with the destructive power of thousands of tons of TNT. This was Little Boy, the first atomic bomb to be used in war. At exactly 15 minutes past 8 in the morning, Little Boy was dropped. 43 seconds later, it detonated approximately 600 meters above the city. The explosion created a fireball hotter than the surface of the sun, instantly incinerating everything within a one-mile radius. Buildings were leveled, people were vaporized and a shockwave radiated outward, causing even further destruction. Three days later history repeated itself in Nagasaki with the detonation of Fat Man, another atomic bomb. These two events marked the only times nuclear weapons have been used in warfare. But the immediate destruction was only the beginning. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki unleashed a deadly aftermath of radiation sickness and cancer. The radiation contaminated the soil, water and air, making the cities uninhabitable in many areas. The survivors, known as Hibakusha, faced not only physical scars but also psychological trauma. They were the living testament to the horrifying power of nuclear weapons. The bombings resulted in the direct death of over 200,000 people, most of them civilians. However, the long-term effects of radiation poisoning and cancer significantly increased this number in the years that followed. These bombings marked a turning point in human history. They demonstrated the terrifying potential of human destructive power and introduced the world to a new era of warfare, forever changing the way nations conducted and thought about war. In a flash of light and a wave of destruction, the world had been irrevocably changed. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain a stark reminder of the devastating power that humanity holds and the profound responsibility that comes with it. The atomic bombings marked the end of World War II, but they were just the beginning of the atomic age. In the immediate aftermath of the bombings, the world was forever changed. Cities were reduced to rubble, countless lives were lost, and an invisible threat, radiation, began to claim even more victims. But it wasn't just the physical destruction that left a lasting impact. The bombing sparked a new era of geopolitical tensions, technological advancements and ethical debates that continue to shape our world today. As the dust settled, the Cold War emerged, a tense standoff between two superpowers, each armed with the terrifying power of the atom. The arms race was on, a dangerous game of one-upmanship that saw the United States and the Soviet Union amass vast arsenals of nuclear weapons. The world watched in fear, the threat of nuclear annihilation hanging like a dark cloud over humanity. Yet, amidst the fear, there was also a growing movement for peace. The quest for nuclear disarmament began, with people around the globe calling for an end to the arms race and the elimination of nuclear weapons. This movement continues to this day a testament to our collective desire for a safer, more peaceful world. But the legacy of the atomic bomb is not only found in history books or peace marches, it is also found in the ongoing efforts to deal with the aftermath of nuclear weapons. From the cleanup of contaminated sites to the care of atomic bomb survivors, these efforts remind us of the long-term consequences of nuclear warfare. They underscore the importance of preventing such devastation from ever happening again. The atomic bomb represents a turning point in human history, a stark reminder of the power and the peril of our technological achievements. It stands as a symbol of our ability to harness the forces of nature, but also a chilling reminder of our capacity for destruction. As we move forward, let us remember the lessons of the atomic age, and strive to use our technological prowess not for destruction, but for the betterment of all mankind. From a breakthrough in physics to a weapon of mass destruction, the atomic bomb has left a profound impact on our world. This encapsulates the journey we've traced today, the dawn of a deadly era that began with the conception of the atomic bomb, a scientific marvel born out of a thirst for knowledge and an understanding of the universe. The Manhattan Project, a testament to human ingenuity and collaboration, albeit for a weapon of unparalleled power. The first atomic bombing, a somber reminder of the destructive potential we possess. The aftermath and legacy of the atomic bomb, revealing the long-lasting effects and the ethical questions that followed. Throughout this narrative, the atomic bomb serves as a stark emblem of the dual nature of human capability. It's a story that continues to resonate, echoing the lessons of our past and shaping our present. In the story of the atomic bomb, we see a reflection of our own potential for both creation and destruction. 